Now let us have a look at the following algorithm and this algorithm is representing the concept of branch chain bound. This concept, I think you have already studied this concept in your MSc or MTech or sometimes in your BTech that is what is a branch chain bound and branch chain bound is just a programming technique. For example, you studied greedy programming, you studied dynamic programming. In the same way, there is something called as branch chain bound and this branch chain bound technique is also used to solve such kind of problems. Now here in this case of branch and bound, what is the main concept? That when you want to solve certain kind of problem, then you know what is the maximum bound for, uh, to which you have to go to find the solution. Then you are going to put a restriction or you can you are going to put that bound so that you will be able to find the solution to that location only. So let me explain it to you with an example. Assuming that we have a graph. So let us assume there is a graph like this. There is some graph like this okay now in this graph you want to find the solution to a certain problem right or this graph is also you can say it is a state space and in this state space you want to find solution to a certain problem now when i am saying branch and bound branch and bound means number one the first thing is branch branch means in a certain st state space, we can have multiple branches like this. There can be multiple branches. And when I am saying bound, bound means we will take one branch and we are going to explore it. And if we know that to what depth or what is a bound on the solution, that means at maximum where uh, till where you have to go. That means there is a limitation. You don't, you are not going to explore it till the end you are going to have some kind of limitation or you are going to put some kind of restriction that if if the, till certain point you can find the, you found the solution then obviously uh, you solve the problem but if, if till certain point if you cannot find the solution then you will never be able to find it right so if you are going to put certain kind of bound on the solution then that is called as branch and bound now for this particular algorithm what we will do is we will take a certain state space assuming that this is a state space and in this state space we are going to put a restriction or we are going to put a bound like this and here we will see that we, we are trying to find the solution and assuming that we found the solution here that means we reached to a certain bound and we found the solution now again we will not stop working out even if we found the solution we will not stop working out and we will go back and we explore certain other possibilities and we see if there is one more goal state and this goal state is having less cost as compared to the, this goal state right so when I am saying goal states see let me just give you a very simple example of a traveling salesman problem now what is a traveling salesman problem is that there are few cities here there are few cities like this and there are some edges with these cities there can be any edge right and with these edge there is some cost which is associated there is some cost which is associated now traveling salesman problem is you have to start from a given vertex you have to visit each vertex exactly once you cannot visit a vertex twice you have to visit each vertex exactly once and after performing the entire search operation or after uh, visiting every node exactly once you have to reach to the starting position and the entire cost of the path the entire cost that should be minimized cost means that means the cost of visiting these edge right so there is some kind of cost which is associated with each edge and that cost should be minimized that is called as branch and uh, sorry that is called as traveling salesman problem now for this traveling salesman problem there are multiple solutions which can be present for a given problem there can be multiple paths or multiple different solutions which can be present but out of all the solutions, all the solutions are leading you to a goal state, right? I think if you understand the traveling salesman problem, then you know that all these solutions, these are leading to your goal state. So even if these solutions are leading to your goal state, now there can be multiple different paths or there can be multiple different ways through which you can reach to this goal state. But and these paths will be having some kind of cost which is associated with them or you can say some kind of cost which are associated with the operations of these paths now your aim is to reach the goal state but you also have to minimize the cost in the same way if you check this uh, state space it may happen that, that you are putting some kind of bound on 
to what maximum location you have to go and if you found the solution that's okay if you found the goal state that's okay but after finding out the goal state it it may happen that that goal state is not minimized now if that goal state is not minimized then you are going to put some kind of restriction you are going to mark it that i reached to a certain goal state and you can mark it with anything assuming that uh, this is some particular cost maybe it is a cost c right and assuming it is a cost c1 you reached a certain co uh, goal state and there is a cost which is associated with this goal state now what if you found some other you backtracked and you found you are trying to find different solutions and while finding out the different solution you found one more goal state but here the cost of this goal state is c2 now if this cost is less than the originally found cost or you can say if c2 is less than c1 then you will say that we found one more solution to the problem or we found one more path to reach to the solution and the cost to this path is actually minimized that is why this is a better path okay now you are going to put a bound that at a maximum this is the cost now you will search for some other solution but the, now the restriction is that solution or the cost of that solution should be less than the cost of c2 assuming that you found a solution which is assuming c3 here and the cost of c3 is less than c2 so you are going to take c3 as a bound now because you found solution with c3 and now we are going to search for another goal states like that. you are going to search for another states after this now you found c3 c3 is a perfectly valid state and now assuming that after searching uh, you cannot go below c3 because you already know that till c3 we found the solution now there is no benefit of going beyond c3 if we can find a solution before c3 cost that means if we can find a solution which is having a cost which is less than c3 then that can be a new bound to our problem right so this entire concept is of the branch and bound solution so here you can say branch and bound first of all we are going to initialize open closed set cs is equal to 0 and set c sharp is c uh, star is equal to infinity now you know what is open now you know what is closed open and closed are the lists which are going to maintain whether you reached uh, what are the states you already explored now this is the cost this is cost of s this s is a start vertex so as you already know this is in open also we will be having s and in closed also we will be having s this s is the start vertex that means we are going to say uh, in a particular graph or in in a particular state space assuming this is some kind of state space the cost of the start space state is zero and this is c sharp and this c uh, this c star it is representing the bound that means initially we are going to put the bound as infinity that means you we are going to assume that we will find a solution and we have to search for it now whenever you are going to find a solution then you are going to update this cost right for example here also you try to search you found the solution here then you are going to update the maximum bound or maximum cost to be c1 right so if you found the solution in some way then you are going to update this c sharp this uh, c hash and uh, so that so that uh, now you will be finding a try to finding a so try to find a solution which is less than c star or you can say which is less than c1 now terminate if open is equal to uh, uh, empty that means if you explode all the nodes and you uh, you uh, either you found some cost then terminate this is this is uh, this empty open is showing that you exhausted all the st uh, possible states you visited all the possible states now after visiting all the possible states can you find the cost what is the cost if the cost is still infinity that means you cannot find a solution but if the cost or you can say this c star is not infinity that means whatever the value of c star that will be your solution okay now then select a state n from open and save it in closed we will take one state from open and we are going to save that state in, into close and terminate if n belongs to g where g is representing the goal state that means if you you have taken a state n you have taken a state n if that state n is a goal state and the cost of the state n 
is less than the already known cost then we are going to set the already known cost as already known cost as uh, c star okay okay let me explain it to you here what they are saying is if we are trying to explore a certain state space and here in this certain state space you found a goal state and assuming that this is the goal state and the cost of this goal state is assuming c1 now if that c1 cost is less than the already known cost that means if that c1 cost is less than the already known bound then then set the bound as c1 or you can say set the bound as c1 that, be, that means now the new bound is c1 and again go to the step 2 so from here again we are going to the step 2 okay then uh, that, that means we are trying to see if we have already exhausted the open or not otherwise we are going to expand in expand we are going to write if cost of n is less than c star then generate the successor of n that means if that node is not a goal state right because this con condition will not be true if that node is not a goal state now if that node is not a goal state then find the cost of that node and if that cost is less than c star then you will try to find the successors of n for example if this is a node but the successors successors are the node where it is leading you okay for example if you reached to this node assuming this is some node x if you reached to this node and this from this node you are going to a node y you are going to a node z and you are going to node k now these y z and k they are the successors now if the if the cost of n is less than c star that means you have not crossed that bound okay get it i think uh, this is important understand this it is saying if you reached to a certain node and this node is not a goal state or this node is not a goal node and the cost of this node should be less than the bound the cost of this node should be less than the bound then only we'll execute this but if the cost of this node is greater than the bound cost of this node is greater than the bound that means we already know that we could have found the solution into this much cost but this node is is expanding or it is having a cost which is more than that bound then we'll go to the loop or you can say we go to the step two but if the cost of this node is less than the bound then we'll generate the successors of this node will generate the successors of this node and for each successor if that successor is not present in open or closed if that successor is not present in open or closed then then we are going to find the cost of that successor and the cost is the already known cost to reach this one and then from here how what is the cost from this node n to node m that means from this start node what is the cost which occurred to reach to the node n that is the, what is the cost to reach to the node n and from this node n what is the cost to reach to the node m you are going to find that cost and then insert m in open okay now if m already belong to open or closed then we will find the minimum of both of them minimum is already known cost of m that means if this m is already in old already in open or closed and we found that the cost of this m is assuming cm this is the already known cost but we reached this m to from a certain node n and if the cost of reaching to a certain node n and from here to here that means cost of reaching to n plus cost of reaching from n to m if this particular cost that means you found a new path to the to reach to this goal state if this particular cost is uh, is there uh, if this is a cost and this is a cost out of these two cost whatever the cost is minimum you are going to store that cost inside m that means that will be the new cost of m and if the value of m is decreased then move m from close to open that means if this value of m is decreased this means we found a better path as compared to the previous path then we are going to move m from closed to open and then again we will go back to the step c that is a go to the step 2 so this is the branch and bound algorithm okay i hope 
some you will be getting some kind of idea what is branch and bound algorithm but better way of explaining the algorithm is by taking some examples so i'll take a few examples i'll take one example of a graph and then i'm going to apply the branch and bound algorithm on that particular graph okay or you can say on that particular state space see whenever i'm using graph that means just assume that i'm using a state space sometimes i skip words skip words because there's a habit of saying graph uh, to these kind of things so whenever i'm going to say uh, graph just assume that i'm discussing about the state space otherwise if there's a different meaning then I'll, i'm going to uh, tell you that this is a different meaning which i'm explaining okay so let us uh, explain this algorithm with an example